Hey, thank you for joining us today. In Mark chapter 15, we're given the sad story, the ending of Jesus' life, as the other gospel accounts give. Jesus was incarcerated, and Pilate did not want to put Jesus to death. And so he made an offer to the crowd that he would release to them either Jesus, he said, the king of the Jews, or he could release to them a notorious criminal by the name of Barabbas. The chief priests and the elders and all of the people got stirred up and they began asking for, crying out for Barabbas to be released to them. They were so bent on putting Jesus to death. Pilate said, why? What evil has he done in verse 14? But they cried out all the more, crucify him. They wanted Jesus killed. So Pilate, wanting to gratify the crowd, released Barabbas to them and he delivered Jesus after he had scourged him to be crucified. Can you imagine what Barabbas had to feel like? Here he gets uh, a crowd of people calling his name, Barabbas, Barabbas, and finally it is they release him and let him go. Um, and that Jesus takes his place on the cross. Can you imagine what kind of strange feelings you would have, how thankful you would be? But think about this. Isn't that exactly what happens for each one of us? Aren't we all Barabbas? That we're all guilty. We've all fallen short of God's glory. We've all sinned and we've done it repeatedly. And yet Jesus is the one who goes to the cross for us. Jesus is the one who pays the price for us. Isn't that the beauty of the gospel? And shouldn't we want to live with all of the fervor we can to try to do what God wants us to do? Think about that. Give God the thanks for what Jesus has done for you. And join us again next week as we'll look at some more things from the Word of God.